Welcome to Tim's Workshop. Hey, we're out on the Lake Rosinger today. We're going to test out the TD20 Johnson 1947 five horse. This is a, uh, you can use motors on this lake, so that's why I came here. But you can also fish on this lake. So, let's do a little fishing here too. All right. So, let's get going here. First, let's test out the, uh, the old Johnson here. See how it runs on the lake. Get it primered here.
That's pretty good. Well, let's get it set up to fish and we'll uh, we'll do some trolling with this. <laughs> Man, it really gets down there low. That's cool. I brought my temperature gauge, that's why I left the uh, the bottom of the cowl off. Hundred and seven, so yeah, that's not bad at all. Alrighty. Well, let's turn this off and get the fishing pole set up. Well, I took the Johnson off. The uh, the it ran great, but <clears throat> when I was sitting getting the pole ready to go uh, do some fishing, I noticed that the the carburetor is still leaking. So I haven't resolved the leaking carburetor yet. But I will. <laughs> I just gotta. I just gotta keep playing with it until I fix it. I know. Uh, I think uh, there was some gaskets leaking, so we're gonna check that out. I could have vibrated uh, one of the screws loose. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I had everything tightened, but anyway, I got the uh, mini coda on and. Uh, Boy, this lake is very dirty. It's gross. Huh. So anyway, we're going to see if we can catch a fish. I already had some bites already. And I reeled it in, of course. Uh, that was way over there by the swimming dock. And it's pretty shallow over there. So it's probably just small fish. But I'm out here where it's deeper now, so... I'll probably have to put my uh, my downrigger together, get it down a little deeper. God, this lake is dirty. Jeez, all the uh, pollen, pollen everywhere. I think I got one. Yeah. Oh, I think he got away. Ah, oh, darn it. How's the bait looking? Bait looks pretty good still. We'll put on a couple uh, pieces of corn. I think I got him this time. Yep. It's a fighter. Woo, doggies. <laughs> hey, buddy, I got a fish. about a about an eight incher yeah yeah looks nice uh, get my glove on we'll put him back in the water we got it on camera that's all I need oh might as well take a picture. Buddy, 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 over here. Huh, buddy. You licking the fish, buddy? You like that fish, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
as I was putting my battery on, <laughs> as I was putting my battery on, I caught another fish. And it's been on my line ever since. <laughs> so, at least I think it's still on my line. We'll find out here shortly. It just jumped, so it might have jumped off the line. No, I think it's still on. Yeah. Oh, it's a fighter. See if I can get him in the boat. Ho oh, ho! Nice! Well, <laughs> that's where he was going anyway. But at least I got him on camera. What'd you think of that, buddy? Huh? He says, wow, that was cool. All right. Got another fish, buddy. Ooh, yeah, he's still on. These fish are fighters. They do have kokanee in this lake. Be nice to hook onto a kokanee. We'll keep a kokanee. But so far it's just been trout. They're the planters. But uh, they've grown a little bit. They're all about the same size, buddy. That's a nice one. Get my glove on. All hooking in about the same spot. There we go. Where's my rag? There it is. I brought a rag, buddy. <laughs> he says, yeah. Well, I got another one. <laughs> Number four. That's if I can get him in here in the boat. It doesn't count unless I get him in the boat even though I release them. <laughs> ah, I think he got away. I grabbed the top hook this time. Stole the worm, stole the, the corn. Well, that seems to be the trick. I got the, uh, what they call a green wedding ring with the two hooks on it. With part of a night crawler. And a piece of corn. And that seems to be working good. Let's do it again, buddy. Let's see if we can get old number four. He jumped out of the water. Oh yeah. It's a jumper.
Did he get away? No, he's still on. This one is the same length, but it's got more girth. What do you think, buddy? Huh? <laughs> buddy says, yeah. Let's get you up here so you can get in the camera. There we go. What do you think, buddy? Huh? What do you think of that? What do you think of that fish? Huh? <laughs> Uh, we better let him go before he dies, okay? We want him to get back in the lake so he can get bigger. Yeah, we want him to get bigger, buddy. Oh, this is... Yeah, he's got some girth to him. There you go. Yeah, I think I got him, buddy. I think I got number five. He's a small one though. Legal size, but small. Yep. He's a six incher. Maybe seven, maybe eight. But yeah, he's small. Back in you go. That was the last fish, buddy. Number five. Time to pack it up. We're all done. Hey buddy, come on over here. So, I'm gonna show you, I figured out where it's leaking. Watch right here. Look at that. That's where the leak's coming from. So the packing in here And it's coming out the top too. It shouldn't be coming out the top. Yeah, it does come out of the top and then it quits. So it's still an issue with these carburetors. Yeah, but it, you know, the main the, the main thing is this. So that needs to be fixed, and then we'll we'll see about what we need to do with that there. Uh, buddy, get over here. So we're going to tear that apart and fix it. We're going to drain the gas out of it first. Though. <laughs>